What's up, asshats? Dean Vachon here, from your number one exclusive rock and roll and wrestling newscast, Dubious Point. You're listening to bonus content I decided to put together as a treat for those many of you that keep wondering when it is I'll get back to music reviewing in the midst of the whirlwind that is my life since the start of my transition. Well... The reviews you're hearing in this segment are an add-on piece of content to my main show. In each capsule, I'm gonna rent about two unreleased records that you need to look out for, sometimes because I need to grill them as sacred cows or over hypes you shouldn't trust as such, and also, even though I seldom blow smoke up anything, as you know if you're like familiar with virtually anything about me, Uh, Sometimes I will place some recommendations about which record labels you must encourage by buying certain titles and going to catch the band's life. So, today is November 22nd. I'm sitting in the booth with albums from the excellent Soul Food Music Distribution Group backing Iron Shield Records and Pure Rock Records, both a part of Pure Steel Promotion. Translation for that is the following. They bring out the most killer old-school melodic and Teutonic sounds you need to know about and might have overlooked. Look up anything by Pure Steel, and you'll hear a lot of vintage grit with an early 70s swagger or hard-hitting nods to the 80s heavy metal scene back in the day. It did not suffer from OCD pigeonholing and was definitely about the steel and the bare-bones essentials. For that reason, they also back power metal bands that don't overdo their sound and opt out of the fluff. Thank fuck. On that train of thought, I must start by introducing you to Ancestral. They will release Master of Fate on January 20th next year on Iron Shield, and I got the chance to rock my freaking face off to this seriously impressive display of Teutonic greatness just now. Those guys have been around since early 1999, representing Italy from their location in Sicily. The Mendolia twins brought the band together with the intent of quote-unquote bringing to the plate an aggressive and melodic sound, but without keyboards. I seriously love a great heavy metal band with modern power metal overtones that does not make that instrument their centerpiece and allows the bite of the guitars to just seamlessly and wonderfully blend into that specific stylistic direction and that is certainly the case on this record. It was put together in October 2015 at Hertz Studio Recordings in Poland. Now, that absolutely crushing and clean and all the same warm and vibe production by the very same token that we're used to having our ears graced with when it comes to a specific studio, is bringing the very best out of this release for damn sure. In terms of content, you just prepared to have your breath taken away. Those guys have a range of stylistic influences that go from a bare bones, late 70s heavy metal gallop ala breaking the wall Judas Priest, all the way to frenetic virtuoso power metal that is very lead guitar flourishes centric. It is simply dazzling how effective the main hooks are while, you know, just perfectly supporting all that technicality and the sheer prowess of the sections of the songs that truly define their own blueprint as a separate entity from the influences that spawned it, which I will say is a beautiful irony that not that many bands get to boast about while being impressive or even truthful for that matter. Now, the second album I got on tap for you here is from The Vulgar Devils, an American hard rock band formed by none other than Dave Overkill from Cleveland Spawn Thrash Titan Destructor. Matt Flammable, who's also an old bandmate, is on drums on the CD dubbed Temptress of the Dark. It'll be out on Pure Rock Records Friday of next week on December 2nd. Now, let me tell you this. I've heard a fucking gazillion hard rock bands with a vintage bar stool sound that worships ACDC in such a blatant way. They're just openly attempting to be an accurate ripoff. This is not what we have here with the Vulgar Devils because they have a soul 
and a sense of creative pride. So they get to have fun with their influences while wearing their hearts on their sleeves without worrying about making it so unbearably corny my eyes will just well up. Tight rhythm sections with fun and originally ballsy melodies laid on top of the groovy gallops and whiskey bent just strip down shenanigans straight from the jam room where pretenders are fucking hung upside down by their balls in the garage. That's what's being conjured up here and we need more rock albums like that. A simple and educative fuck you statement to those that love to say their content with cheap imitation. I approve. To hear new tracks from both these bands, tune in to Dubious Appointment this Friday, November 25th. We're a heavy metal wrestling newscast like no other, where you're on top of all the news and no BS coverage you can possibly hope for. With me and my straight edge stalker, reviewer, and ass kicker co host, Sean Mercer. Like us on Twitter at Dubious Ringloons and check out the show on our official Mixcloud. Stay sick.